Hello and welcome to another Pixel Game Maker video. Today's video is an announcement really. This week I made a new itch page that will be for sample object and scene imports. These will be for a lot of the ones that I do on video tutorials, but it will also be for various things. So if you haven't already followed my itch page, you might want to do that just so that you can stay up to date with the imports that I'm uploading because there's going to be a huge list by the time this is done. So you can see that right now I just have four. I have a player skin movement that was requested on the forms and I was I completed that and exported it. And then we have uh, three that start with scenes right here, the hit pop-up text, which I have the video on, the show message with busts, and then a uh, random loot tier drops that was a request on the uh, Steam forms as well. Now we'll get into what these uh, tags are right here. But the first thing is, is that this will be eventually updated and it will be more, you know, visually pleasing. But for right now, this works just to get things on there. And also do know, I won't say this very often. This will probably be the only video I ever say this, but I do have a coffee and a Patreon. So if you want to support the channel and support the work, then feel free to do so. I think Patreon, I add your name on credits on my videos. And I've also got some other tech support stuff that includes more personalized tech support for your project. So yeah, with that said, uh, let's get into what these tags are. So I have a brief description, basically the scene tags, you're going to import them as scenes and the object tags, you're going to import them as objects. So with the scenes, basically it was a bigger setup. I needed multiple objects for you to see. And with the objects, it was just an object that you could import anywhere. All right, one thing I wanted to point out about the scenes is that the tile size from your project to the importable project may vary. So there might be a little bit of a setup change and it's mostly gonna just have to do with restrictions. And I'm gonna show you an example of what I mean by that here later on. But to download them, so you just click download, uh, it pops up with a little donation window, but um, then you'll download whichever one that you want. All right, so then when you download them, we're gonna go into Pixel Game Maker and you're gonna import them into your project. So for this case, I'm just gonna create a benchmark project here, and I'm just going to show you where to import them on here. Okay, so for the scene ones, you're going to import them right here. You're gonna right click on the scene list, you're gonna import scene, and then you're gonna just choose one to import. Let's just say that we want to do the uh, show message with the busts. So we're gonna click okay. You're gonna see that you have a lot of things pop up. If you have one that pops up with the red triangle thing, that means that you already have that asset, and so it won't import. And then I do title these again, and I also have some contents, like here is the credit for the busts. I found out that I could distribute them as long as I credit, so that's why I was able to include them. And then I also try to give a brief description that what the tile size was when I was using the project, and also what project I was using this out of. So tile size is 24 by 24, best viewed in the TK, uh, T Cool Characters sample project. All right, we're going to hit OK, and then the scene is imported. You're going to have this uh, import thing right here, and then we can click on Start and Play. And you can see that it's a little different because the camera size is different for the benchmark versus what it is for the uh, T Cool characters. So that's why I'm saying that I'm going to say what sample project I was using. So if you want the exact resolution and all that stuff, you can get it. And you're going to see that it kind of affects this in a way. So for instance, when I go and talk, you can see that the bus is now in a different position. And that is because the movement here in the uh, bus control, I think it was this one right here. Yeah, the move object right here, it's set up for the exact scene for the TK cool characters. And we talked about this before, so basically in the scenes here, I would just have to come and adjust it to this scene, all right? So if you wanted to get the full nil deal, then just follow the, or just import this in the sample project that I did it in, and then you can figure it out from there. Also, my videos explain the logic behind it. So this isn't meant to be an exploration. This is, well, it's it's meant to be an exploration, but if you want an explanation, that's gonna be in the tutorial video, which I'll try to have a tutorial video for all of these. Okay, so that's one example is importing a scene and you can see some of the things to consider, like I was saying, it's a little, it's a little off. Okay, so now we can go to the objects here and let's import one of the objects. So here's a player skid movement object. And so I'm going to uh, import this right here. And this one didn't really have any content because it was just an object. You can throw it in anywhere that you want. 
and we'll hit OK. And then we can see that we have now the player skid object. And it comes with basically a, a momentum. When you stop moving left, you slide and you start moving to the right. So now we can go into the scene. And I think this scene is actually set up for uh, side view stuff. So I'm going to delete this player. And then we're going to put the imported player right here. And then we're going to play test here. And we can see that we can have the momentum and the slide. All right. So now let me show you what I was talking about as far as some of the tiles not being out of, out of whack. Because in this scene example, we saw that the resolution was messed up. But now let's show another thing that could happen. So we're going to close this project here. And we're going to create a new one. And we're going to call it, let's just see, let's go with the Explorer. Because this uses 16 by 16, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, so now if I was to export, or import, I mean, if I was to import that message loot, or not, not the loot, but the uh, message system, if we go to it, we can see that the tiles are going to be all messed up. They're going to be just all messed up. And that is because these are 24 by 24 tiles. Now, the easy way to fix this, since this project wasn't really testing out how to do tiles, it was more testing out the logic, you can simply just readjust your map accordingly, just put the restrictions where they need to go. And then we can play test this. And a couple things are going to happen here. You can see that the uh, resolution, once again, the, sc the screen size is all messed up. And then when we press uh, to talk, you can see that the bus is going to be in another position, because that's where it's positioned in this camera size. So I just wanted to point out some of these things, because the big takeaway is obviously going to be the logic behind them. But if you want to sample some of the scenes that I have available, I think I think it's nice to do that. So just know that there are some criteria with the scenes, but I will always try to make them in the description what they need as far as tile size and what project they were used in. All right, so with all that said, I hope that this can help the community with some plug and play objects and some scene samples so that you can get a better idea of setting up logic in PGM. And also just note that I'll be pulling ideas for this page from the community. And so if you have a request, go to the Steam form. That's the official form for Pixel Game Maker. That's where I am the most. And then also, if you're a Patreon, just let me know and I will get you a sample project ASAP. Uh, as far as the Discord goes, it's unofficial. I do browse there and there will be from time to time an object and stuff like that. But those other two outlets are definitely the best way to get a object or scene on here ASAP. And so with that said, I will see you at the next video.